Hello. Uh, first off, thank you for tuning into this session. I'm Sabine Nair. I'm a product manager at Dataverse, leading a team. We've historically worked on Power Platform Connectors and now MCP or Model Context Protocol Servers. Today's session is about how to build next generation agents with Dataverse MCP Server. Uh, we'll have a bunch of demos, so we'll have Samir join us at that time. MCP is an open protocol that standardizes how applications provide context to LLMs. It standardizes the way LLMs interact with data sources. Uh, a common analogy is to think of MCP as a USB-C port for AI applications, just as USB-C provides a standardized way to connect your devices to various peripherals and accessories. MCP provides a standardized way to connect to AI models to different data sources and tools. Now, uh, it starts at home for us, uh, and Copilot Studio now supports MCP. What this means is that in a few steps, you can connect your agents to MCP servers and get access to all the tools to build complex workflows. You can connect to MCP-enabled connectors to unlock latest uh, actions and knowledge. And all this in a secure fashion, applying the latest enterprise security, including authentication and DLP or data loss prevention. Now there's a growing list of marketplace of MCP servers, and just like connectors, we will also certify MCP servers. Now we are pleased to announce um, a preview of our Microsoft Dataverse MCP server. The Dataverse MCP server exposes your business data and knowledge in a way that agents can understand and act on using standardized tools for querying, updating, and grounded generation. Now, we also have MCP servers for Dynamics 365. These MCP servers provide agents access to data in various Dynamics 365 apps catered to the common scenarios for sales, supply chain, services, finance, and business central. All those MCP servers can be accessed from any AI agent that supports model context protocol. That includes agents you create in Copilot Studio, GitHub Copilot, Visual Studio, of course, and also Claude Desktop uh, as an external one. Now, let's dive a bit deeper on the Dataverse MCP server. Imagine the opportunity to build the next generation of agents grounded not just in your structured and unstructured data, but also in your enterprise knowledge or index data. With the Dataverse MCP server, you can bring your tables to life, run queries to discover available tables, explore schema, and retrieve real-time business data. Make your data conversational by using natural language to chat with your records or search knowledge sources for grounded answers. Need to act on that data? Well, create new records or update existing ones with ease using structured tools that turn business data into agent-ready intelligence. And when context matters most, run custom prompts like summarizing a customer record or drafting a follow-up response, all grounded in your data. It's no longer theoretical, uh, the tools are here. Now, of course, seeing is believing. And so let's jump into the demo and see it in action. Here I am in Microsoft Copilot Studio. I have a basic agent for our store employees. I have added our store policy in the knowledge section. To add the Dataverse MCP server, click Add Tool, select MCP server, and you can see the Microsoft Dataverse MCP server. Let's cancel this as I have already added the Dataverse MCP server to our agent. Click for details, and you can see all the tools provided by the Dataverse MCP server. Now, let's try this out. First, let's see if our agent can fetch information we need, say products. The agent is using the Dataverse MCP server to list tables and construct the query to fetch the products. We see this working. Let's try asking for our store cancellation policy. In this case, 
Our agent is retrieving the information from the knowledge source. And we can see the results. Finally, let's try a prompt to see if we can collect feedback using natural language. Here again, it is using the Dataverse MCP server to create a record successfully. Now let's switch to our table view and see if the record is created by refreshing the page. Perfect. We see the new record in Dataverse. We are now ready to get the agent to the hands of our store employees. Next, let's turn our attention to our business analyst using Cloud Desktop as the AI assistant. I have added the Dataverse MCP server to the configuration settings file. And you can also see that the server is already enabled and connected. So let's try it out and see if we can get store details. So like in Copilot Studio, we see that Claude is able to use the Dataverse MCP server to fetch the information. So it looks like things are working for us. It is now time to analyze the feedback from our customers. Using a more complicated prompt, let's get our AI agent to work for us. Claude is able to pull the necessary information using the Dataverse MCP server, analyze the results, and show us a nice summary. It has saved me a lot of time, and now I can focus on following up with a plan to act on the feedback. Okay, finally, let's turn our attention to our developers using Visual Studio Code with GitHub Copilot in agent mode. Again, you can see the Dataverse MCP server is already configured and running. As a developer, I would like to understand more about the underlying tables. So let's try that. Using the Dataverse MCP server, we can see the relevant tables for our storefront application. I can review this to understand better about the tables, but what about the relationship between them? Let's find out. Our agent is able to provide a good summary of how the tables are related. Now I can go ahead and develop feature enhancements to our storefront application. As you just saw, Dataverse MCP server can integrate with any AI agent using the open model context protocol, be it agents in Copilot Studio, Cloud Desktop, and many more. It unlocks key insights from your enterprise data with knowledge search and retrieval. You can also take actions using our agents. Thank you. And with that, I'll hand it off to Savin again. No announcement is complete without our partners such as Litera, who are also building MCP servers. Litera is a legal technology company that provides software solutions to law firms and legal department. They are closely partnering with us, testing the Dataverse MCP server and building their own MCP server. Let's see a quick demo. Hi, I'm Mike Walker, Global Head of Product Innovation. At Litera, we are continually advancing firm intelligence with our foundation program turning information into actual insights across the business of law. Today, I'm excited to introduce the first step in our model context protocol services, delivering rich enterprise knowledge and access to information within the daily flow of work. Today's lawyers face a familiar challenge. Resumes, client introductions, contract inquiries, all arriving daily, but critical knowledge is often missing. Who knows to contact? 
What's the history or strength of the relationship? Have we done something similar before? Finding these answers often means switching between multiple business systems, wasting time, losing momentum, and consuming effort that is already at a premium. Without seamless firm intelligence, opportunities are often missed, outreach feels impersonal, and preparation is rushed, weakening trust and risking the firm's ability to win work. To solve this, we've enhanced our enterprise relationship management solution within the Terra Foundation, creating a smarter way to access rich intelligence through the use of an MCP server architecture. We've drawn on our work with the Microsoft Dataverse team, where we've tested and fed back on their MCP servers atomic operations like risk, create, update, and retrieve, learning how these foundational tools become scalable and knowledgeable across the enterprise. Now let's switch into Microsoft Copilot Studio. As an MCP client, we're able to embed as an action an MCP service that we've created called Foundation Enterprise Intelligence Agent. We can now use an email address to look up and find all the enterprise relationships known to that individual email address. The experience has directly shaped how we've built our Latera MCP server, designed to orchestrate intelligence across multiple domains with precision and control. Incoming resumes now and introductions and client contacts can now be augmented by utilizing agentic services that query firm-wide relationships history in real time, providing the real value and improved engagement for our customers. For Latero, the firm intelligence and enterprise relationship management solutions expose this intelligence securely. MCP clients like M365 Copilot, Claude, OpenAI, and others now can integrate with this information naturally, delivering personalized actual insights exactly where and when they are needed. This is just the beginning. With MCP services, Latera is transforming how firm intelligence powers legal work, making every conversation smarter, every introduction warmer, and every opportunity stronger. A question that we often get is, do we build connectors or MCP servers? Our recommendation is build per your business needs and your business scenarios. If your scenarios warrant using connectors to tap into enterprise systems, internal or external, for your business data, building connectors, then continue to build connectors. You can further expand your reach where it makes sense. So if you have agentic scenarios where you want to leverage connector actions, by all means, build it and more importantly, test them. Else, for your agentic scenarios, if there exists an MCP server, go ahead and use that. The ISVs can, of course, build their MCP servers for proprietary workflows. Now, what if I have an existing connector, you may ask? Well, then here's the good news. You already have a head start. Use it to bootstrap and add MCP. This way, you get to keep both the connector, which is heavily used today, and MCP server and enable agents instantly. To further exemplify this, let's look at another demo from one of our close partners, DocuSign. DocuSign is a leading provider of digital agreements. Think electronic signatures. Now, they already have a Power Platform connector. And while that is being heavily used for Power Platform applications, they also are using this to bootstrap their MCP server. I'll play, let's play a demo from them. Let's explore how integrating DocuSign with Microsoft Copilot can revolutionize your agreement workflows. Partnership with Microsoft allowed us to leverage insights from the Dataverse MCP server, particularly its use of atomic APIs like list records, create records, and retrieve knowledge. These insights helped us design dynamic, reusable actions for DocuSign agreement workflows. Through joint testing and alignment with Microsoft, we built a scalable, extensible solution that powers the experience you're about to see. Imagine you are an HR manager and you need to be able to easily track offer letters, send reminders to candidates, understand agreement details, and kick off new employee onboarding. Let's see how Copilot, powered by DocuSign, makes this incredibly simple. First, the HR manager asks Copilot, show me all pending offer letters. Instantly, Copilot retrieves the list of unsigned envelopes from DocuSign's API. Today, let's focus on Christie's offer letter. The manager uses Copilot to send Christy a reminder to complete her offer letter agreement. Copilot analyzes this request and instantly sends the command to DocuSign using DocuSign's eSignature APIs. Let's quickly change views to Christy's inbox. Here we can see the reminder email has been delivered straight from DocuSign via Copilot's request. Now let's assume Christy has signed the offer letter. Before proceeding, the HR manager needs a quick summary of the agreement details. They ask Copilot to summarize Christie's signed offer letter. 
Copilot accesses the signed offer letter through the DocuSign Navigator API and provides key details of the agreement in the chat here. Now let's take a look at how we can take similar DocuSign actions, this time using natural language in Claude. We can start by simply asking Claude to show us a list of accounts. Claude retrieves this data directly from DocuSign, and from here, we can continue the conversation naturally. Asking for the status of a specific agreement, pulling up agreement details, or even initiating actions like sending a reminder, all using plain language. This makes it faster and easier for anyone to work with agreement data without needing to click through multiple systems or screens. And that's the power of DocuSign MCP Server. Now here's a quick session recap. We did an overview of MCP protocol, looked a bit deeper into the Dataverse MCP server. We saw a few demos of what our partners are building, and then of course, a demo of the Dataverse MCP server in action. Hope you found that helpful. Stay tuned for more information and look for more updates via the Dataverse blog. And once again, a huge thank you and have a great day.